Here we go. Come on. It's uphill. I know it's tough. Really? <laughs> I'm still in foot flops. town campground in Nevada City and yesterday June Friday June 5th apparently we can go into phase three so camping can finally campgrounds can finally open along with all the other stuff I think it's about in town campgrounds they've been following the rules since uh, you know the quarantine and the lockdown and everything shut down in early March you know there's been short-term rentals Airbnbs in Nevada County which we're in El Dorado County, Placer County, that are that have been renting, but they've been following the rules, going by the laws that are governing them. Two prong, kind of where they're at, and then you know that they've been following the rules. And secondarily, we're going to take a tour of this beautiful facility, and we'll be here on the Fourth of July, like we do every Fourth of July. So let's take a look here on Sippy Cup Adventures. Now here on June 6th, um, the ground, the camping grounds are pretty much empty. There's like five people staying, two full-time RVers, and I think three uh, PGD workers that are essential contracted out. This is where they're staying, so it's going to be empty. Um, normally, it wouldn't be empty, so that's why you're not going to see a bunch of people around here. So let's go take a look. All right, folks, this is the office and the communal space there's a kitchen in the building um, there's an activities room they got movies and toys and I have to say the office and camp store is a has a great selection of beer and wine and souvenirs lots and lots of things to see and do you can see they have some nice Adirondack chairs and picnic tables when they're um, open and in season, they've got the pool open with tables and patio chairs, umbrellas. Barbecues. Everybody loves a barbecue. So again, nice pool, three feet to five feet. Great in the summer. So adjacent to the pool, you've got the laundry room, you've got these four restrooms, always completely clean, incredibly clean. Okay, so we have glamping tent one, which is ADA accessible and um, second one I don't think this is two but it's got two twin beds in it the first of many tents little retro RV we stayed here once last year pretty nifty little place it's got a besides the bedroom dining room area it's got twin bunk beds and a shower it's got a nice little patio area they have a barbecue as well um, obviously put away for the year, but coming soon. So this is the start of the camping grounds. And you can see the back end of some of the glamping tents, and we'll get to the front side. But we'll take a walk along the camping grounds. I'll get the prices for you. I know it is a little bit more expensive than the state or uh, federal land campgrounds, national parks. And the one thing is, is that there are rules. Um, you know, Patty and I, we don't camp, so we can't say for sure, but I mean, you know, it can be loud and noisy or people partying. You know, they don't allow that here. So if you're good with rules after and being, 10. after 10, being quiet and following it, you have to do that here. And a lot of people appreciate that, especially one with little kids. So just be aware, but it's nice that they go around and make sure that everyone's quiet. And um, there's always someone, a couple of people on patrol. So let's take a look at the camping grounds.
So at in town, they also accept fifth wheels and RVs with hookups. So great place to bring your travel trailer. Okay, so one of the great things about this place too is that you are literally a mile from the city center in Nevada City. This is the trail to walk it. It's got some really great wineries, tasting rooms, and uh, little shops, restaurants. Just a mile. City is an old railroad mining town, so you can see the tracks, you know, the old defunct tracks that come through, and we're right next to the railroad museum. So a lot of history in here. So let's take a walk down along the tracks. <laughs> Arrows point towards, I guess, which is downtown. We've never taken the full walk. Remember, we don't hike. We'll walk a beautiful trail, but you know, it's gotta be flip flop, fret, fret, flip flop friendly, right? So a, apparently, that'll take you to downtown Nevada City. One day when we're here, maybe we'll give it an actual hike. We're usually having too much fun drinking alcohol and barbecue to even. What? Oh, Patty said it's not driftwood. Yeah, that's trestles. They got Adirondack chairs. They've got a table. Inside, you'll get towels and flashlight. Um, at night, it's a little bit of a walk, not too far. About a hundred feet to the restroom. Up there. And it's all lighted. So helps out. Yep, 
There's a shower up there. Um, kitchen. We'll get to it, but in case you don't want to do the walk, you could purchase a camp toilet. That's come in handy. Just saying. Yep, camp toilet on the back patio and saves you from the walk. So probably my favorite area, the barbecue area. We'll get our steaks. Come over here, barbecue them, have a picnic. And what's really nice is once you're done, come over to the restroom here and they got sink complete with soap and a dish tray. So it's easy to clean your pots and pans and everything that you've cooked with. Bathrooms are on the right. Here's an indoor shower. And then a very cool outdoor shot shower, which is not open right now, obviously, but it's kind of cool to take a shower outdoors. Then you got a communal area where they will set up a campfire for you through propane. So this is a cool little area. See the facades there, Wells Fargo General Store. And this is where they'll put up a movie screen and have movies for the families on Friday and Saturday nights. So bring your lawn chairs or you got these tables. I don't know if these tables will be open because of social distancing once <clears throat> they do open. But uh, they got cornhole they'll put down there. Cornhole. What's, what do we do? Cornhole? Herding cats? Yeah. <laughs> I love cornhole. Our friends will know that. Herding cats. Thank you.